with everything that's done in medicine, it's really important that we can save those tonsils. I'm going to talk about strep throat treatments and what this video is about is about strep throat what happens in the throat how it's related to the tonsils is it affected by the sinuses and what natural treatments alternatives there are to antibiotic therapy for strep throat now strep throat is a bacterial infection that causes inflammation and pain in the throat this is a common condition it's caused by group a strep bacterium strep throat can affect children and adults of all ages however it's especially common in children between the ages of about five and 15. And sneezing and coughing can spread the infection from one person to another. And the severity of the strep throat can vary from person to person. Some people experience mild symptoms like a sore throat, where otherwise people feel have more severe symptoms, including fever, difficulty swallowing. And sometimes if you'll drink lemonade or orange juice, it feels like you're drinking rusty razor blades. Now the common symptoms of strep throat include a sudden fever, especially if it's over about 101 degrees, a sore red throat with white patches, headaches, chills, loss of appetite, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, or trouble swallowing. The symptoms of strep throat typically develop within about five days to exposure to the bacterium. Now there's these special immune system tissues in the, in the throat called tonsils. And tonsils health are basically what they do is they filter infection in the throat region. The tonsils are in the back of the throat, one on each side, and if they haven't been removed, you can see them peeking at you when you open your mouth and you say, ah, if you open your mouth wide open in front of the mirror. Now, whenever possible, we like to save tonsils. This is different than it used to be when in the 70s and the 80s when we took them out of the t all the time, but both are part of your immune system, both of those glands, and they're similar to lymph nodes and the glands that you can feel in the front of your neck. Now, as part of the immune system, the tonsils fight infection. They're the first line of defense in the throat, and when they're doing their job fighting infections, you get a sore throat. The tonsils usually swell a bit and get red, and that's what's happening. Now, the connection between the tonsils doing their job and strep throat is that the common cause of tonsillitis in patients is the strep infection. And before we had antibiotics, removing the tonsils was one way to, con to combat reoccurring strep infection. Now, as soon as penicillin started, one of the first antibiotics came along, we instantly had an effective non-surgical treatment for strep tonsillitis. But antibiotics can be overused and overprescribed, and there's some natural considerations. We haven't seen antibiotic resistance that bedevils our ability to treat other bacterial infections. Children do get a lot of strep infections, and some children have recurrent strep, sometimes multiple times each winter. And that's because their immune system isn't healthy, and sometimes they can get tonsillar crypts or tonsillar abscesses or chronic places for the bacteria to, to lodge in. And for those children, doctors often recommend taking the tonsils out. Now, the one common theme with strep infection is that they're almost always recoverable. And this makes tonsillectomies something that we used to do. There's certainly a time and place for them. But if we can get the body healthy, we can reduce the strep infections and the natural history of the illness is to improve. Now, the important thing to remember about a tonsil remover or a tonsillectomy is like any surgery, it's not without risk. So whenever possible, we want to save those glands and it's just not like a routine where it's like getting a B12 shot or something. And compared to other surgical procedures, the risk is low, but it's not zero. Now, consideration for a tonsillectomy can be very helpful for persons that have tonsils that are so large that they block the airway or they're touching in the back of the throat. Here's some considerations what to do for chronic strep infections. Number one, drink lots and lots of water. Avoid your sugar intake because that seems to decrease the ability of the immune system to respond. And then some natural treatments. Some of the neatest things to do are a combination of myosotis, which is a lymphatic drainer, echinacea either in the orthomolecular form or the pill form, or as in a tincture, I think it works better as a tincture. Increasing your calcium levels, an herb called Lomatia is really effective for that. And also something called Immune Power from Nature's NX. Now there's lots of different things that you can do to upregulate your immune system. And if your immune system is healthy, you are healthy. Now some of the advanced natural medical ways to take care of chronic strep infections, there is something neat that you can do for chronic tonsils called neural therapy, where you take a syringe and a fine needle and you can actually inject the upper pole and the lower pole of each tonsils with a B vitamin. You can get those to flush. 
There's also a way where you can put a little suction cup on the tonsils and you can pump on it and it actually sucks the infection out. Gargling with honey and cayenne pepper is a really effective thing. I also recommend people do some gargling with dilute hydrogen peroxide therapy, a 3% dilution. You can gargle it in the mouth. Hydrogen peroxide is really, really effective for chronic strep infections. And then there's also something called endonasal technique where you could adjust the cranial sutures of the skull. It's a age old chiropractic therapy that my great grandfather taught my grandfather, my grandfather taught my dad and my dad taught me where you can actually improve the function and the structures of the skull. So water, sleep, immune system, some natural stimulating things like Lomatia, Myosotis, Echinacea, immune power are all effective ways to upregulate the immune system and help it to be healthy. Now with everything that's done in medicine, it's really important that we can save those tonsils as much as possible. If we make your immune system healthy, we can reduce the onset, the incident, and severity of chronic strep infections. It's not an antibiotic deficiency disease, and you don't always have to get your tonsils out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like more information, education, or want to work with us, head over to bestmedicaloptions.com. And if you want to help to reach, teach, and heal the world, leave a comment, like, share it with someone that you love. It may seem like an impossible task, but those that are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do.